Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Thunder, and today we're going to be creating a door system, so that when we walk over to our door, we get the interaction prompt, we press the E key, it opens, and if we press it again, it closes. And the best part about this, there's no animations involved, so you won't have to be animating your door. So, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys need high quality assets for your game, check out my H.io page, the link's in the description. Before we begin, you need to know two things. Number one, this tutorial, you'll need to also watch the health pickup tutorial in which we created an interaction system. So you'll need that for this because we're going to be using it. The tutorial is seven minutes long, so don't worry, it's quite simple. Number two thing, you'll need a door model with the following specifications. First, the frame and the door need to be completely separate. And preferably, the door pivot should be on the bottom right. So that when you rotate it, it goes like this. This model is from the classic interior door pack, which is completely for free on the Unity Asset Store. I will leave the link down in the description. Now, let's go ahead and set up our door. The number one thing is collision. So select your door game object, and we're going to add component, box collider. This will be the basic door collision. Then we'll select the frame, and we'll go ahead and add a mesh collider, which is going to be the collision for the actual frame. And then we need a collider that is going to be trigger for the interaction zone. So go ahead and add a box collider to it, mark it as this trigger, and then I'm going to increase it on the z-axis over here, which is going to show us this, and this will be my interaction zone on both sides. The last thing that we need to do is create a door layer so that our camera does not collide with the door, otherwise it's going to look very bad. So for that, select your door, and then we're going to go over to layer, where it says default, click, add layer, select an empty field, and type door. Then select your door frame, we're going to click over here on default, and assign the door layer. Click on just change children. Now let's go ahead and create a door script and get to coding. For this, I'm going to go over to my scripts folder. You will notice that it's a little bit different from last time. All that has changed is that I organized it a little. I'm going to go into my interactable folder and over here, I'm going to right click, create C -sharp script. We're going to call this script door. Go ahead and open it up. On a door script, we'll begin by deleting the basic functions and we need to create our variables. First, we need to swap mono behavior and we need our script to inherit from interactable instead. Now let's go ahead and create our variables. We'll first make a header called behavior. Below here, we'll create a serialized private transform, and we're going to call this door. Next, we'll create a serialized private float, which we'll call speed, and it will be equal to five by default. Now let's make another header, which we're going to call open, and this will be the values for the position and rotation when our door is opened. Create a serialized private vector 3, call it open position. Create a serialized private quaternion, call it open rotation, and make it be equal to the following. So we're going to do new quaternion, parentheses, and we're going to pass 0, 0, 0, 1. The reason we have to do this for the quaternion is because Unity does not know how to initialize them by default. Now go ahead and copy all of this. We're going to paste it down here. And everywhere it says open, just switch it for closed. The last thing that we need to do is create a public pool, which we're going to call opened. This will be the current state of our door. But we want this to be a property, so we're going to do brackets, get, semicolon, private set, semicolon. What this is saying is basically, you can access this variable from any other script, but only this script can modify it. Now let's go ahead and create our start function. On our start function, we just want to set the default position and rotation of the door. For this, we're going to do door dot local position. Make sure you're using local position and not position. Equals, and we're going to do close position. Then door dot local rotation equals close rotation. Go ahead and create now your update function. And inside here, we first want to make a local vector three. So do vector three position equals vector three dot zero. Then make a local quaternion, call it rotation, and make it be equal to quaternion.identity. Go ahead and below it, create an if statement, and do if opened. Then we're going to set the position to be equal to the open position. So do position equals open position, rotation equals open rotation. Go ahead and copy this, make an else statement, paste it, and switch open for closed. Now, last thing that we need to do is set our door's position and rotation. So down here, go ahead and do door dot local position equals vector three dot lerp. And what this function specifically does is move it smoothly from point A to point B. So for point A, 
we'll pass door that local position comma and then for the target we'll pass position comma and then we'll pass the speed times time that delta time we'll now do the same for the rotation so we're going to do door dot local rotation equals quaternion dot lerp door dot local rotation comma rotation comma speed times time, times time that delta time now all we got to do is overwrite or interact function so go down here and we're going to do public override and select where it says interact. And before we execute base that interact, we're going to do open equals exclamation sign open. On Unity, all we got to do now is drag the door script over to the door frame. Down here where it says door, we want to assign where it says door wing for this specific model. And for the open and close positions, we want to assign the current position of it. So if you click on the door, you'll see that it's not set to zero. So we're going to right click where it says position, copy it, then select the frame and right click on open position and paste it. Do the same for closed. For the open rotation, you can just grab your door and rotate it and look at this Y value on the rotation and pick whichever, whichever one you want. For me personally, I prefer 105, which looks like this. So I'll set my close rotation to be 105. I actually made a mistake here and I placed the 105 value on the close rotation. Make sure you're placing it on the open rotation. On our game, if we now walk over to our door, we can see the interact prompt. And if we press E, it opens. If we press it again, it closes. So there you go, you have a full interactive door. As always guys, if you liked the video, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.